Hey guys, what's up? MJ DeMarco, author of The Millionaire Fast Lane. And today I want to talk about five statements or thoughts or mindsets that will expose you as either an entrepreneur or a wantrepreneur. So if you've never heard that term before, wantrepreneur, I actually think Mark Cuban was uh, coined the phrase. A wantrepreneur is someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, they want to be their own boss, but really aren't cracked up to be one. They think more like an employee versus an employer. So I've identified five thoughts or mindsets that will expose you as either an entrepreneur or a wantrepreneur. So those five are, first, the thought of, it's too hard. It's too hard. Now I bring this up because I get a lot of emails. A lot of emails say, oh, I had this good idea. What do you think about this? I have this business concept and da 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 However, it's too hard. See, that tells me you're not cracked up to be an entrepreneur. You see, any entrepreneurial venture or business that has any kind of value, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. If solving your problem or need in your entrepreneurial space is simple, it's probably not a very good idea. So the next time you're looking at an opportunity and you're thinking, oh, it's too hard, that actually is the opportunity. The harder it is to solve whatever problem you're seeking to solve, the harder it is, the better the opportunity. You see, if it's easy, if solving the problem is as simple as downloading WordPress or Drupal and you're in business, it's probably not a very good idea because you're violating the commandment of entry. In the book, uh, Delivering Happiness by uh, Tony Shea, he's the founder of Zappos, he explains how difficult it was to transform the shoe industry. Because there was different, you know, the way things were set up, it was very complicated. And his success didn't happen in a couple hours or a couple weeks. It took months, years, because it was difficult. It's too hard. You see, if it's too hard, that's actually good. And if you're thinking if something's too hard, you're probably not cracked up to be an entrepreneur because you're looking for the event. You're looking for the easy way in business. And that's not the way it works. So number two, number two is it's already being done. This is another one of my favorites. I got this great idea, blah, 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 but it's already being done. Think about that. Google was started as a search engine and yet there was countless other search engines out there. Alta Vista, Snap. Imagine if them guys, Sergey Brin and Larry Page said, Hey, it's already being done, let's not do it. You see, the best entrepreneurs, they don't create something new, like something that's never been thought of before. They just take something that already exists and they do it better. So if you're trolling around, thinking about the next greatest idea that no one's ever thought of, you're probably not cracked up to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs simply take something that's already been done and they do it a little better. It could be better customer service. It could be a spin on something that's already being done that you just do it better. I mean, there's always opportunity with customer service because customer service nowadays is just absolutely brutal. Number three. Number three is I don't know how. I got this great idea, I got a business I wanna do, blah, 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 but I don't know how. I don't know how tells me you're not disciplined enough. You want to think about the event versus the process. I admit there's a lot of things I don't know and yet I figure it out. The other day during an interview, I was asked the question, well how did you teach yourself how to program a computer and build a website and, and all the things that, complicated things that in, are involved with that process? How did I teach myself? Well, I didn't actually pick up a book, a book, open it up and say, I'm gonna learn how to program. That's not how I did it. I taught myself on a problem by problem basis. In other words, I had a vision for what I wanted. I had a finished product. This is what I want. And I need to, I need to find out how I'm gonna get there. 
So I took it one step at a one step at a time. If I didn't know how to program a certain thing, I figured it out. On to the next problem. Then I figured that out. And on to the next problem. That's the same thing I did with publishing. I didn't know how to publish a book and get it on Amazon and, and sell it and da 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 da. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't sit down to seek to figure that out all at once. I took it on a problem by problem basis. I envisioned a finished product and I said, okay, first you gotta write it. Then you gotta get it, you know, edited. Then you gotta do this. Then you gotta do it. It was a problem by problem basis. And by the time you get to the finished product, whether it's a website or a book or whatever, you learn the entire process. That's the process. Not sitting down and reading 20 books. You do it problem by problem. And that fixes, I don't know how. The fourth one is my favorite. I'd like to draw a salary. Or how much am I gonna get paid? This tells me you're not an entrepreneur, you're an employee. And I bring this up because a year or so ago, I had the opportunity to invest in a startup. And I was given the papers. They wanted over a million dollars. Um, and they wanted, you know, a $100,000 or $200,000 investment. I got the papers. I looked it over. And the CEO was being paid $100,000 right off the start. A hundred grand. Now, this is a startup. No customers. No product. No revenue. No profit, concept unproven, and yet the CEO wanted $100,000 in salary. In other words, he did not want to take a risk. He wanted me to take the risk. See, that told me this guy is not an entrepreneur. He's an employee. And if I'm going to invest in a business, whether it's my own or someone else's, I don't want a CEO running it. I want an entrepreneur running it. One that understands that entrepreneurship in its, in its own right is a risk. It's sacrifice. And if you're starting a business or you want to start a business and your first thought is, I want to draw a salary, how much is that going to be? Start going back and start looking for another job because you're not cracked up to be an entrepreneur. The fifth and final one is, my idea is worth millions. Or actually anything with the word idea in it. This tells me that you are focused on the wrong thing and you cannot grasp what is important. Any idea worth its salt is worth it with the execution. Meaning, everyone's got the same idea. If you have a great idea, there's hundreds, perhaps thousands of other people who share the same idea. It's not the idea that's important. What's important is the execution of it. And the execution is where everyone gets lost because they think execution is one or two weeks worth of work. They don't understand that execution can be months or years worth of work. They don't understand that the first failure is just a part of the process. So they, they see the failure and they say, and then they quit. They have the grass is greener on the other side syndrome where they throw something against the wall and the market says they don't like it and they quit and they go do something else, some other idea. Because the grass is always greener on the other side. Oh, this, this idea is no good, I'm gonna go do that. They don't understand that anything worth value is going to be complicated and is going to take a long series of executional execution steps. So to wrap this up, there's five statements or mindsets that may expose you as a true entrepreneur or a wantrepreneur. The first is, it's too hard. The second is, it's already being done. The third is, I don't know how. The fourth is, I want to draw a salary, or how much am I going to get paid? And the fifth is, my idea is, is valuable, or my idea is worth all this money, or can I sell my idea? Anything with the word idea. Ideas focus on the event, not the process, not the execution. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this has uh, helped you uh, expose yourself as a real entrepreneur and not as a wantrepreneur. My name is MJ DeMarco, author of The Millionaire Fast Lane. Have a fantastic day.